Hello everyone, hope you all are doing well. In this video, we'll discuss the second problem of lead code weekly contest 299. So it's a medium level problem. The problem name is count number of ways to place houses. So the problem statement says that there is a street with n cross 2 plots where there are n plots on each side of the street, right? So the plots on each side are number from uh, 1 to n and on each plot a house can be placed. Okay, so we have 2 cross n plots and we have two sides on the street where each side has n plots numbered from 1 to n. Now, return the number of ways houses can be placed such that no two houses are adjacent to each other on the same side of the street. Now, since the answer can be very large, return it, uh, return it uh, modulo 10 is for 9 plus 7. Now, note that if a house is placed on the ith plot on one side of the street, then a house can also be placed on the ith plot on the other side of the street. So basically what it says is that the two the two sides on the street, they are not related to each other. If you calculate uh, it for one side, uh, so that will the result will be independent of the calculation we do on the other side. Okay. So if we look into the example, so n equals to one. So suppose uh, we, we so this is the street suppose I'll, I'll try to explain you with the help uh, help of a diagram so suppose this is the street so we have just one plot so what are the possibilities either this plot is empty and this plot is empty the second possibility this plot is empty but i place a house here this is the second possibility right the third possibility place a house here don't place a house here right fourth possibility place a house here and place a house here so total we have four possibilities right so we return four in this case now uh, let's take the case where we have um, two plots right so this basically actually uh, can be can be solved by uh, by relating it to the binary representation now i'll tell you what i mean suppose we have two plots suppose we have two plots now we, we are just considering one side because the second side of the street is totally independent so we can what we can do is that we can just uh, suppose we calculate the possibilities on one side of the street that comes out to be x so what we can do we can so the possibilities on the second side of the street will also be x so our final answer will be x into x right so we in this question now we will consider only one side of the street right so suppose we have two indices right this and this so placing a house can be represented by one and the plot being empty can be represented by zero right and the condition says no two ones can be together you can't place two adjacent like uh, uh, houses on two adjacent plots right this is the question now let's try to see it with some examples so these are the two plots on one side so either we can make both of them empty right one possibility right the second is this one is empty this one is having a house the third one this one is a uh, this one is having a house this one is empty now what is the fourth possibility that both has a both both plots have a house but this is an invalid case right so that means if we have two plots then the total possibilities comes out to be three now if three is at one side of the street three will be or three three possibilities will be on the other side of the street as well so the final answer will be three cross three so we get nine right let's see one more example suppose we have three plots so what what will be the binary representations uh, that that we used right now so it will be zero 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 all plots are empty it will be zero zero one that means we place a house here it will be zero one zero place a house here one zero zero that means place a house here right so we have the conditions where no house is placed covered just one house is placed covered what about the uh, next condition that means can we place two houses so since we have three positions the only possibility is that we play we place a house like this just a second mm. Mm. let's go down let's open this yeah so so uh, the, the the last condition was if you want to place two houses so it can be these are the three positions uh, let me choose it yeah these are the three positions so the only possibility is place a house here and place a house here and place zero here right so total number of possibilities are one 
and these are the four conditions so total we have five possibilities now because there was an interruption uh, while switching the application i'll just explain you once more so we have three plots right these are the three plots and all we want to do is that we do not want to place uh, houses on two adjacent plots so uh, if 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 we talk about three bits then how many total numbers are there right so 0 0 0 0 0 1 0 1 0 uh, 1 0 0 1 0 uh, 0 then we have uh, 1 0 1 1 1 0 right and what what is the other possibility 1 1 1 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 uh, there should be yeah so this so this these fours are covered and we have 1 1 1 1 and that is 1 1 uh, yeah this one was remaining okay got it so these are the eight possibilities we have now what are the invalid ones this is invalid this is invalid this is invalid so we are left out with five possibilities right so that means if we talk about this then the total number of uh, possibilities on one side of the road is 5 so the second side of road will also be 5 so it's it comes out to be 5 cross 5 so total 25 so if we if we look into the pattern if we look into the pattern then when we we were having one plot so the answer was basically 2 cross 2 when we were having two plots the answer was 3 cross 3 when we are having three plots answer is 5 comma so 5 cross 5 so if you look closely this is a fibonacci series right this is this is a fibonacci series 2 3 5 right then it will be 8 then you come out to be 13 so this is a, a question based on pattern obviously you can do it using dynamic programming as well but this is how i approach the problem so yeah this is this is the main thing how we do it now let's look into the code so if if i come to the coding part so just a second yeah so this is the code uh, just a very small code uh, you take the mod variable and then so, so in fibonacci what is fibonacci series so the ith element is equals to the sum of i minus 1 and i minus 2th element right so here i have taken a variable uh, last and last last okay uh, initialized both of them with 1 and now we start traversing for a given n what we do answer equals to last and last last and then we take the mod now what will happen the last element now answer will become the last element for the next iteration and the current last element the current last element will become the last to last element right that is what we are doing whatever so it's exactly what we do in the fibonacci series right so this is the final code and then at last on line line number 12 we return answer more um, answer uh, by by taking the mod we multiply it and then we return the final answer so uh, yeah this was the stuff uh, the only only point to note in this question was we needed to find the pattern and again to reiterate we can do this using dynamic programming as well uh, but this is how i approach the problem probably if you want i can uh, also also create a video uh, where we can solve this question using dynamic programming so i hope you learn something new from this video uh, 